comes, comes. So today we are going to study Advaita Vedanta. Today, we are going to study Advaita Vedam Darshan through the Niralamba Upanishad. That what we've been speaking for the last two, three classes about what is Brahman and what is Brahman, what is Brahma, what is Atma, what is Jiva, what is Prakriti. What is Purusha? What is Karma? What is Akarma? Hmm? So on. What is Bandhana? Bandha. What is Mokya? And today we are going to end the chapter and what is Sanyas? What is Mokya? What is Liberation? What is Brahmagyana? And so on. And it is one of the very important, important Upanishads. And in order to have briefly many ideas about the Advaita philosophies. Advaita means no separation. It's not about two. Advaita means no separation, no dual. Hmm? And Vedanta, Vedanta, Veda means to know, is Vidhatu, or knowledge. Ved means Wisdom, Ved means also to know, to know. 
the essence of the wisdom of the brahmagyan or the atmagyan so and today also the 31st chapter of this class will have the celebration of the happy new year 2022 and goodbye 2021 of course every religions every dharma they have their own way to celebrate new year originally our vedic science we have celebrations comes in the march where you play the kind of colorful mm -hmm. that call holy festival then navratra starts so that is that month in fall in the march and april then every religion so they have their own way to celebrate their own happy new year but as per the crust mm, so that the new year will be tonight after 31st of after 12 mm, midnight so actually as per the vedantic science we have new year <laughs> every moments uh, every moments have the new year new year means the new time mm. so every moment with the past is the one year every moment is comes the new year so one can celebrate actually every moment as a new year mm. somehow so we have to go through that so yesterday we study vidyanam vidyanam vidwan aniti cha sarvantar sta shw sambidu vidwan who is vidwan the lord it is the he who has cognized the true from reality of his own consciousness that is the latent in all so who is vidwan who is actually cognized who is experienced the real the brahmagyan the atmagyan its own nature so when somebody ask you who are you so you going to represent or you going to explain as per your own personality but the reality is we are the atma we are the brahman mm -hmm. so that is the so vidwan a wise person recognize i am not jiva but i am the atma so that is the vidwan vidwan mm -hmm. means the wisdom not avidya eh? avidya is the is something not related to atma eh? and who have the atma gyan anything related to atma gyan this is called vidya the wisdom the knowledge then you say mudha iti cha kartitva the ahankara bhava rudha mudha hmm mudha iti cha kartitva adya ahankara bhava rudha mudha hmm mudha <coughs> am i clear that mudha iti cha kartitva ahankar bhava rudha mudha who is mudha huh? who is he mudha he who has the egoistic conception of the body caste orders of life actor enjoyer and others mudha means who only recognize its own body Uh, that is the muda muda means avidya mm, avidya and the caste colors orders and some but it is as for the vedic science but once you have the brahmagyan then you are beyond all colors caste religions 
body and soul. Mudha iti chakartitva. Mudha. The ignorant person. Mudha the translate into as a ignorant. Means avidya. They, then they say that what is asura? Asuram miti cha brahma Vishnami Sanindra Dina Maishurya Kamanaya Nirasana Japa Agni Hotra Disvantarat Manam Santapiati Chavai Raga Dvisa Vishita Dambya Gapekitam Tav Asura. What is the definition of the Asura? Demonic. What is Asura? As per the Vedic science, who is divine? Who have the only Brahmagyana is the divine. A rest of things is the Asuras. They say it is tapas. What is Asura? If you do any kind of tapas, yeah. <laughs> Practice by one inflicting trouble on the Atman within the Japa. Or the chanting mantras. Abstinence from food. Agnihotra. Performance of the worship of fire, attend with the cruel desire, hatred, pain, hypocrisy, and the race for a purpose of acquiring the powers of Vishnu, Brahma, Rudra, Indra, and others. Actually, tapasya is not asur, not demonic. So, what happens they according to understanding? You chanting mantras, you do tapasya. Or you do sacred fires, it's not actually asuric qualities. But when you do tapasya and you want to like be a Brahma, like a Vishnu, like Rudra, Indra, or I am going to Shiva. <laughs> so these are leads to the asuras. I give an example. Basma asura. He did a lot of tapasya. And he want to be like a Lord Shiva, equivalent to Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva gave the boon, the blessings to the Vasmasura. And through the tapasya, he want to kill the Lord Shiva. That means he want to be like Shiva. <laughs> Not he want to realize the Shiva, the consciousness, but he want to like a Shiva. So he can kill the Shiva. Then he wants to be Shiva. So this is called Asuri Tapasya. Am I clear that? So any Yajna, any Tapasya, any, any kind of uh, Tapasya leads to the hypocrisy. For example, sometimes we study or doing Yajna, Tapasya, everything to hypnotize to someone. Make problems to someone, make black magic, and it's out of a violent, it's the desire, hmm? it's called hatred. This is the ill will. Hmm? We do all tapasya, we must uh, think benefit of others, but not the kill to others, not make problem for others, huh? for a due to our selfishness. This is called asuric, demonic, right? So, for example, you study all kind of tantric science and you do black magic to hypnotize or to kill someone, make problems someone. Uh, so, someone with the, so these are the asuric. Uh, these are demonic. And which demon? This is the demon. Uh, so, therefore, we say dharma has to establish, adharma has to destroy, adharma has to nurse to the divine. The devatas has to win. The asura has to lose. So asuras are, you must understand now. Are you clear now what is asura? Anything, any tapasya. The tapasya not achieve the divine, but rather you like to make the problems for the dark asuras. Hmm? After that, Tapa iti cha Brahma Satyam Jagan Mithyeta Parokya Jnanam Agnina. After that, then actually Tapasya, 
what is tapas tapas is the act of warning through the fire of direct cognition of the knowledge that the brahman is the truth and the inverse is a myth the seed of deep rooted desires to attain the powers of brahman so what is tapasya so before the shloka they say that asuram meeti cha brahma they say it is the tapa practiced by one infinite trouble on the atman within the through japa absence from food agnihotra performance of the worship attained with a cruel desire so you understand when do tapasya your motivation your attitude your aim tapasya to have the black magic or to hypnotize others make problem for others so that is called asuric demonic hmm? you understand now like our sheep is influenced by the demonic energy and they are the asuras just i give you example in my own guru swami niranjan he also influenced by the black magic santante and eh? also hypnotized big so they are poor these are the the people do like that they are called asuras there is no mukti for them and they go to hell <laughs> so they are poor every civilizations they are poor lord shiva killed the bhasmasura with his tricks so asura is always defeated by the divine energy by the pure energy and most of the time the asuric energy always they apply for more vulnerable people for the weak people sometimes they apply with innocent people as well so they are for very interesting that right so then now you have to understand what is tapasya tapasya means so you have to tapasya means is a tapasya many kind of tapasya mantra jab tapasya pradishasana tapasya meditation tapasya tapasya sometimes people they say through the fire of direct cognition of knowledge that brahman is the truth so the tapasya means the tapasya has to lead to the bonding the all agyana avidya avidya asmita rag dvesh avinivesha so when do tapasya for example panchagni i personally do so panchagni is a sadhana is a tapasya lead to the bonding all kind of avidya asmita raga dvesha avinivesh so five things burning kama krodha lobha moha and madhya these are the destroy by the fire by the panchagni means so through the tapasya through the panchagni vidya is burning all your avidyas in order to have the attain the brahma gyana so brahma is the truth so that need to be attained and such kind of tapasya is called divai like we pray here in this platform most of the time benefit and liberation of the all beings so that is the divai ah uh, that is the divai and same time we pray those are basuras has to die because they may call troubles let the divine let the vulnerable ones has to free from all the demonic energy energy of the asuras let the people has to free from demonic energy right so that is our prayers so you have to be very clear although the brahman exists with all beings all beings sometimes you see also brahman exists within snake but in snake sometimes comes in your house he kill them right brahman also exists in mosquitoes mosquito bite you you also hit them and kill them <laughs> so like that so we supposed not think this way hmm? we supposed not think this way so so we have to use the common sense what has to be done hmm? what has to be done so then after that say param padam iti cha प्राणेन्द्रिय अद्यंत करुणा 
करुण गुणा दिया परतरम सच्चिदानंद मयम नित्य मुक्त ब्रह्म स्थानम परम पदम दिस व्हाट इज एक्चुअली व्हाट इज परम पद व्हाट इज द सुप्रीम अप्रो व्हाट इज द सुप्रीम प्लेस वंस यू गो देयर एंड इन अवर रिटर्न परम धाम द सुप्रीम प्लेस the supreme place of the final liberation and once enter that place never return to this planet of samsara dukhas therefore we say natad bhasate suryo na sansaka na pavakaha yad gatvana nivartante tad dhama paramo mama न तदभाषते सूर्यो न संसाक न पावक इंटरेस्टिंग द लाइट ऑफ सन द लाइट ऑफ सन कैन नॉट पेनिटेड द लाइट ऑफ मून कैन नॉट साइन न तदभाषे सूर्य न संसाक न पावक यदत्वानिवर्तंते तम दट इज माइ place where the light of sun uh, the rays of sun can reach uh, the sign of also the light of moon also can reach and that is my supreme place uh, and once you reach there you never can return anyway there is many way to explain that sutras say what is param pad the supreme place the supreme place of a mokya nirvan liberation it is the it is the seat of the eternal and emancipated brahman which is far superior to the pranas the vital layers the organs of sense and actions the internal organs of thought the gunas and others which is of the nature satchitanand and which is the witness to all so what is the supreme place it is the seat of the eternal and all the time exist and that place is all the time exist it was it is it will be emancipated brahman which is far superior to pranas so what is this supreme place there the beyond pranas more superior than pranas prana means the life what you have the vital energy so prana stage is the limited is the material element prana is not the supreme and after this vital layers the organs of sense of actions they say is beyond uh, your beyond of sense of actions actions karmendriyas so beyond sense beyond sensual experiences beyond as beyond the experience of all kind of senses either five senses of the karmendriyas five senses of the actions five senses of the knowledge gyanendriyas five pranas mana buddhi chitam kar whatever you are experiencing by the sense of actions sense of knowledge sense of pranas and sense of mind buddhi mana buddhi chitam kar whatever you are experiencing it means whatever experienced by the jiva Mm. is is not the supreme place what is the supreme place they say that it is beyond which is of the nature of satchidanand satchidan satchit anand bliss absolute consciousness and witness of all so our jiva it has no it is not witness of all but the brahman the absolute consciousness The, the atma is witness of all and that is the parama pad param padam idi cha pranendriya adyanta karuna guna and is beyond all the gunas parataram sachidanandamayam nitya mukta it is eternal it is ever is free brahma gyan brahma sthanam paramam pad so the place hmm, the place of parampara param means supreme and 
Bad, Bad means abode or the place. But the supreme abode of the supreme abode of the liberation, and that the place of Kal, we are established as the Brahman. Nitya is a remain eternal. Mukta remain liberated and free from all sufferings and miseries. But is for all kinds. Then Sutra number thirty-seven. Grahyam meti cha desa kala vastu paricheda rahitya chinta tra sorupam grahyam. Grahyam meti. Grahyam meti cha desa kala vastu paricheda rahitya chit chin matra sorupam grahyam. Grahyam. What is Graya fit to be taken in? Only that reality of absolute consciousness which is not conditioned by space, time, or the substance. Very interesting. Who is Graya? Only the Brahman, the absolute consciousness, which is not conditioned by space, time, and substance. Everybody receive everything, but the Brahman, uh, the Atma, it does not receive anything. Does not. Uh, it is beyond uh, space, time, and the substances. It does not receive. Grahyam meti cha desa kala bhaktu parichet aditya chinta sarupam. Chinta. Chin matra sarupam grahyam. So, Brahman don't actually accept anything. Don't receive anything. Uh, <laughs> Means we are eating, sleeping, everything. But a Brahman doesn't eat and sleep. <laughs> right? Not Graham, not accepting him. Then what is Agrahya? Agraham miti cha swasarupa vyatirikta maya maya budhi indriya gochara jagat satya tva chintan ma grahyam. What is Agrahya? The thought that is the inverse is the truth. Hmm. The thought that is the inverse is truth. This inverse is different from oneself and is being subject to maya for illusion from the object, cognized buddhi and organs. Agrahya. Hmm? Grahya the jiva is receiving everything. And what is agrahya? Not receiving anything? That is the Brahman. Hmm? The thought that is inverse is truth. The whole inverse is the truth. Satyam. This inverse is which is different from oneself. Hmm? Atma jnana. Hmm? Atma jnana. But which is being subject to maya, illusions, forms, object, cognized, buddhi, and the earth. So, but our intellect, the jiva, is recognized as an illusion. Hmm? The, so, whatever recognized by the buddhi is called maya. Hmm? And whatever Recognized by organs, it is also Maya, the illusion. Mm -hmm. So, and what is Agrahya? Actually, Agrahya is the whole inverse, the self, the Atma. It does not receive anything. Mm -hmm. Does not receive. And we receive everything the mana, the mind, the buddhi, and whatever receiving is called Maya. Sanyas iti chastarva dharmam. Now, the definition of sanyas. Ascetic. What is sanyas? Sanyasam. Sanyasam. Sanyas iti chastarva dharma. Dharmaan paritijya. Nirmo manirahankara bhutva brahmishtam. Sarana mubagamya tattva maapi aham brahmas. Sarvam. Kal idam Brahma Niho Nanas Kinchani Tadi Mahavakya Arthan Havagyana Brahmiva Hama Smith Idi Nishaya Nirbikalpa Samadina Sutantra Yadi Sarati Sasanasi Samukha Sa Pujaha Sa Yogi Sa Paramansa Sa Abaduta Sa Brahmanam Idi very interesting. And what is sannyas? And who is sannyasi? He the, he the mukta. He the puja. Uh, who is he? He is yogi. 
is paramansa is avadhu and is called brahma gyan hmm? is called brahma gyan so what is, who is the sannyasi a sannyasi is an ascetic who have been given up all the duties of the caste and order of life goal and bad actions good and bad actions hmm? being freed from the i and mind being freed from the jiva I'm not this body, not the mind. I'm not the jiva. Having taken his repose in Brahman alone, and he says, "I'm the Brahman, and I'm the Brahman, and I'm the absolute consciousness alone." Roams and lars practice the nirvikalpa samad, and who establish the samad, the nirvikalpa samad, the beard, imagination. Uh, what a nirvikalpa samad, the pure samad, the where. In nirvikalpa samadhi means nirvikalpa. There is no, there is no imagination that the pure consciousness to realize. Uh, in nirvikalpa samadhi, one attain the final, the super consciousness, and being firmly convinced, I am Brahman. In nirvikalpa samadhi. One able to cognize, realize, I am Brahman. I am the absolute consciousness. There are no doubts. Nischaya, nischati nirvikalap samadhana swatantra. One has to, one recognized. Sadhaka is recognized, Brahman is recognized. But beyond mind, matter and phenomena. Hmm? Through the realization of meaning of so sacred Vedic sentence, though at that Aham Brahmas, Aham Brahmas, Minisha, so tantra, Yata Sariti Sasanyas, Kinshani, Mahabakyan, Vavagyanat, Brahmi Vahamasmiti. You say, Brahmi Vahasmiti. Say, though at that, I am nothing but all this verily Brahman. I am Brahman, and everything is Brahman. And here there is no manyness in the list. You see that I'm only Brahman. I'm alone the Brahman, nothing else. I'm the pure consciousness. I'm the pure Atma. I'm not the Jiva. So due to ignorance, we recognize Jiva is Atma. Jiva is eternal. Jiva is the freedom. So sometimes due to our mana, buddhi, chitahanka, we say, I am free. Actually, we are not free. Hmm? So mind is not free, but the atma is free. But most of the time, our intellect, hmm? our intellect, our sense say, I am free. Such a people call muda, agyan. They are not sannyasi. Uh, so therefore, logical mind never can find atma gyan hmm? not possible. So here there is no manyness in the list. He only is an emancipated person, a great sadhak, ascetic, uh, sannyas. And who is sannyasi? He is only is fit to be adored. Adored means adorable, honorable, adorable. Mm. He is only is a yogi, mm. and he is and who realizes I am Brahman, nothing else, and he is the sannyas. And he the ascetic, and he the adored, eh? adored. Adored means honorable, respectable, guru. Hmm? He only is yogi, and he is the yogi. Who those who realize eh? who is yogi? The definition of yogi means who is realized. I am the pure consciousness, and I am Atman. I am Brahman. And he is called Brahma Gyan. Like in, you see, I am the Siva. I am the pure consciousness. But here you suppose not have ego, you are equivalent to Siva. No. You realize the consciousness of Siva. You realize the consciousness of Brahma. It is not something to explain 
by intellect. It's not something you say, I am Brahmagyan. I am Atmagyan. No. You can't say that I am Atma. I am Brahman. No. It does not exist in the, you can't explain by intellect. It is a, it is a real, it is a realization. It is a cognizance beyond mind, matter and phenomena, beyond the senses. So it's not possible to explain even it. It is something to experience through our transcendental consciousness. Hmm? I am Brahman. Sivoham, 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 Sivoham. Satchidanandoham, Satchidanandoham. Sivoham, 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 Sivoham. Uhiyatma paramatmaham. Uhiyatma amaratmaham. You say, I am the Atma. I am the immortal. I am the eternal. And I am the Brahman. And I am the Siva. I am the Satchid Anand. I am the bliss, absolute consciousness. And I am ever free. Mm -hmm. I'm ever free. Om, Om, Om. And he's only the Paramahansa who can have the title of Paramahansa. We realize I'm the Brahman. I'm the absolute consciousness. And he's the only Abadhuta. They say he's the Abadhuta. So who is the Abadhuta? He's realized the self as Atma. As a supreme consciousness, as a Brahmagya, and he is Abhatuta. No more the Jiva. Due to absence of a knowledge of Atma, due to absence of a wisdom of Brahmagya, that known as called Jiva. So we sometimes forget the Atma. That we sometimes call it Jiva Atma. Jiva Atma, this physical body, the prana life, is called Jiva. And when Atma lies within yourself, the spirit, that is Jiva Atma. So when after knowledge, we recognize our Atma, not the Jiva. But same times without Jiva, this body, Atma has no place as well. So therefore, the beautiful science, God giving this gift, the beautiful body. It is a beautiful body as medium, as instrument, in order to experience, in order to recognize, in order to cognize, in order to realize through beyond these bodies. Means, because your physical body has instrument to take a help with this physical body. Like all the sasaris, you take a help. This physical body need help in order to experience that transcendental consciousness. So this physical body is not something illusion. The samsara is not something illusion. The nature is not something illusion. You need to take help of the nature. The samsara also need to take help not to see them with negative perspectives. Like this physical body, the jiva, you must take positive perspectives. Hmm? Sometimes you do abhidya. You do abhidya. Without atmagyana, what do you do? Sometimes we are suicide. Sometimes we are hanged. Sometimes we become depressed, heart failed. So, so many dukkha, so many miseries come. Why? Because we work out, we are, we are the jiva. Then raga dvesa starts. When raga dvesa starts, when you think you are jiva, when you think you are atma, there is no raga, there is no dvesa. There is no avidya, smita, and avinivesa. So, absence of knowledge of the atma is called avidya. Abhidya, Abhidya, Abhidya. Hmm? So, so don't see the world hmm, like that way. So we have then he's only the Brahman. Then he's become Brahma Jnani. They say Brahmana Miti. Uh, so what is sannyasi? We realize these are the sannyasi. So the definition of the sannyasi. The definition of yogi, the definition of the adorate, the definition of the paramahansa, the definition of abhuta, the definition of atmagyani, all need to realize I am not this jiva. But same time, jiva 
is an instrument. Uh, is an instrument. Is helpful. So I say, my father, my mother, my wife, children, partners, all are abhidya. Actually not. Because you need help of them. Hmm? Your mother gave you birth. Your teacher teaching you. Your brother, your friends, your partners, your guru, all are help to for the Brahmanya. So there's nothing to take in negative. In the samsara, hmm, you live in the house. The samsara, the society, your government, your country, all people, whatever exists in the nature, all are helpful to your Brahmanya. Hmm? If you're here, the jungle, the forest, the water, everything is the sahayaka. Uh, sahayaka is help as an instrument. All give it to help you for the Brahmagya. So, nothing to be ignored. Right? And when you have knowledge, when you have Atmagyana, then you understand, yes, I need this body. Without this body, so they are to study. Hatha Yoga, Asana, Pranaya, Mudra, Bangas, Satkriya, you do many things. All sadhanas, also material. Even in Kriya Yoga, Hatha Yoga, Mudra Yoga, Advaita, Sastras, Tantra, Mant, all are the instrument to help you to Brahmagyana. Still is a material. Like this body is material. Am I clear that? So nothing you should take negative in your life. Sometimes we think our partners, mother, father, friends, society, nature, the samsara is obstacles. Actually, not. Not obstacles. Everything help you. Hmm? All things are helping you in order to develop the Atma Jnana, transcendental consciousness. Right? If you think that, you think my body is avidya, is illusion, then you will not eat, then what do you do? You will die. Then when you can experience the Atma Jnana. So they are both in your proper practice of all kind of yoga techniques guided by your own master, the Guru. So, once again, you must be clear. Whatever techniques are available, Hatha Yoga, Raja Yoga, Jnana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, Tantra Yoga, Kundalini Yoga, Karma Yoga, Mantra Yoga, Chakra Yoga, Yoga Nidra, Nidra Yoga, all kind of, or Saiva Yoga, Sakti Yoga, Shiva Yoga, all yoga, whatever is, is all an instrument. Is not the Brahma Jnana. Is not the Atma Jnana. You study maybe all yogas. You may practice all yogas. Is all our instrument. Is all are helpful to develop, to rise the transcendental energy, the cosmic energy, so that you can experience Brahma Jnana, Atma Jnana. Right? So, Brahma is very, very important. All are helpful. So, you can't say that you doing Hatha Yoga is something wrong. It is not the highest yoga. Oh, I am practicing now Kriya Yoga is the highest yoga. Oh, I am studying now Advaita Yoga, highest yoga. Oh, I am studying Tantra Yoga is the highest yoga. I am studying Kundalini Yoga, the highest yoga. Oh, I do Panchagini, highest yoga. No, no, no. Nothing is highest. Even so, oh, my father and mothers are very stupid. Oh, my grandfather is in the home. Oh, our country is very bad. Oh, my friends are not so good. Oh, my teacher is very bad. He can't taste now. He can't show the lights. He can't show the colors. So let me go to other teacher. No. Every teacher are helping you all the way to experience that transcendental consciousness. Depends. <laughs> Depends. So they are for is supposed to not reject. There is no rejection. There is no Vesa. Hmm? Supposed not to be Raga, and there is supposed to not Vesa. Rejection means Vesa. Hmm? You reject your master, your guru, your father, your mother, 
your partners, your house, the nature is called Dvesa. So it is called Abhidya. Hmm. You are actually multiplying your Abhidya by rejecting all whatever available to you, material. Huh? All are called Abhidya again. You reject Dvesa. Hmm. So, or your beloved ones also. So not to be rejected because that part and partially is going to help you all the way to Brahmanya and to be sannyas, to be yogi, to be avadhuta, to be paramahansa, and to be ascetic as well. Idam niralambo panisadam yo adhidhyate gurbanu gurva anugrahata so agni puto bhavati. So why puto bhavati? Nasa punara vartati. Nasa punara vartati. Punara vizayat. Punara vizayat itu. Upanishad. Iti niralamba upanishad. Whoever studies the niralamba upanishad becomes through the grace of Guru. Pure like a fire. He becomes pure like a vai. He does not return. He is not born again. Maybe he is not born again. So anyone study, anyone listening the Niralamba Upanishad from a guru, from a parampara, from Brahmanist gurus, and by grace of guru, one attain this Brahmanya, he never return again to this planet. Never again return to this planet. Never again born. And finally, this idam nir alambo upanishadam yo adhiyate guru guru anugrahat. This is guru anugrahat means by the grace of guru. By the grace of guru, pure like a fire. So we ever study. So we ever study nir alambo upanishad. Naturally, they get the grace of gurus. And by the grace of gurus, one never written and never again born to this planet of the samsara or the nature. So that day, we talk about the grace, right? <laughs> that day, see, we are see, as is the grace but efforts also as well. But today, everybody have not efforts to even listen. This is Lambo Upanishads. So we need the grace of Guru. Mm -hmm. Also effort to study. Then we can also receive the grace of our Master. So both grace and efforts. But without grace of the Guru, there is no way for the final liberation. There is no way. Mm -hmm. There no way to return. That means by the grace of Guru, so one will be not returned to this planet and became Brahmagya and became Sanyas and became Master. So this must today. Om Purnamadaha Purnamidam Purna Purnamudachati Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyati Om Shanti 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 Iti Shanti Niralambo Upanishad Samaktam So this is the end of chapter of Niralambo Upanishad we study since many days and I'm very glad that today we can complete in this year 2021 Niralambo Upanishad and, and anyone study Niralambo Upanishad so he never returned to the uh, samsara and he became sannyasi, became yogi, became uh, paramansa, avadhuta and became brahmanya. So, so thanks to all gurus. Om Sankaram Sankaracharyam Kesavam Badarayanam Sutravasakritam Vandi Bhagavanto Panaha Panaha Iswara Gurra Atmeti Murti Veda Vivagine Vimavadavata Dehaya Sudachina Murtai Namaham Om Namabrahma Divya 
ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय करते ब्रह्मेवाहमस्मिं सूत्रभासंदे भगवत पुनः पुनः ईश्वर गुरु आत्मे मूर्ति भेद विभागिने व्यमयात्मेहाय सचिनामूर्त नम ओ शाते 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 हरि ओ सो टुडे उपनिषद पार्ट्स आर ओवर द निरलंब उपनिषद सो लेट वी सेल द celebrate new year although not coming the time but uh, through the zoom so you can this planet so we can have blessings for all so and i would like to speak the few words about the happy new year to all of you so happy new year means actually here about to the how welcome to new year means again we have to learn to forgive not the forget but forgive forget the ignorance forgive means with your awareness with the consciousness forgive means with the consciousness with your aware with love with the kindness and to be a compassionate so that qualities are we have to develop in order to forgive then accepting something new So let celebrate in this understanding the happy new year to all of you 2022 and welcome 2022 and we must forgive all whatever happened forgive to ourselves forgive to others let be compassion let be compassionate to others compassionate towards others let love to others and realize the absolute let free from the all ignorance of the jiva let the establish an atma gyan brahma gyan let if you like to speak few minutes you speak then we'll have the silent meditations for about two minutes then we'll conclude the sections of the happy new year also as well atmanand can I start and speak one to two minutes Yes, I say it again. Um, compassion and um, forgiveness comes not easy in this time of the Kali Yuga. We are in the end times of the Kali Yuga, so if you want to forgive and have a mind in harmony, it's then try to understand your enemies. Uh, we had some uh, discussion before about the. Um, Krishna Arjuna and uh, Duryodhana he's the evil person in the Mahabharata and and when you read the Mahabharata you just he's the evil person he's the evil person but all his brothers 99 brothers were killed by Rama and so you must understand when you understand your enemies that the energy of hate and revenge is very strong stronger than love and it's not easy to go away if you're in hate and 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 you have feelings of revenge and many people who appear as evil to you they have feelings of revenge they were they were hurt in this life maybe in their previous lives and so they swear revenge and they want maybe some and some just are sadist just clear just some people just want to be rich on cost of other people there's also reason for that because maybe they experienced a great poverty and now to avoid the poverty they want to be the richest man in the world on cost of other people that's why and you cannot just easily forgive and be compassionate but you can try to understand but it's just the understanding takes time 
and you have just so much time, you can understand other people as well. You can understand the good people just as well. You don't have to think about the bad people because you have to also remain positive vibes, right? And if no, nothing works anymore, you have to go away. <laughs> Seek for a peaceful place. Om Namah Shivaya. Happy New Year. Mariana. Namaste. Swamiji, Happy New Year. Uh, I would like to say uh, I very miss uh, your masala tea and kichiri and very like your meditation panchagni. And uh, I very like clean your ashram and very miss your ashram. And um, I would like to back soon, very soon. Om Namah Shiva. Um, Samiji, Happy New Year to you and all, all, of, all of the team. I would like to thank you for this opportunity to be with you and, uh, and the, rest, uh, the rest of the, the people of Manan and all, all, the, all the others. And uh, I hope we will see you soon in person. It's my, it's my prayer for next year, I hope. Thank you. And Julie? Happy New Year to everybody. And I wish you all peace and contentment and just hope for a good new year. Thank you. So once again, so we let yourself to silent meditation. After that, we'll do three times. Mahamudra Mantra uh, for the world peace, for the liberation of the all beings, healthy and good prosperity. <clears throat> so let's silent. Close your eyes, please. Bring your whole attention on a breath and witness of yourself.
So let we shall chant mantra Om three times all together and repeat where you are. Three times Mahamudra mantra for the world peace, liberation of all beings. Let everybody live in the peace and harmony and healthy life with good prosperity. ृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतारृतार